What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Mike and I'm going to show you how to set up your Netgear Nighthawk USB Ready Share. This is a cool option if you don't have a NAS drive or a network device, hard drive. Um, the Netgear Nighthawk has a USB in the back of the modem router which you can plug in either a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive to kind of set you up as a Ready Share NAS drive or something that you can use as FTP when you're on the go. Uh, so without further ado, let's dig into this. First, you want to open up your web browser. Type in a default IP address, 192.168.0.1, unless you changed it. Default password will probably be admin admin or admin password, all lowercase. In my case, I changed it from the default. Uh, when you first log in, you're going to see basic, advanced, and a couple options here on the left pane. Just go ahead and click Ready Share here or in the middle. Uh, by default, you can have it set up as basic or you can set it up as a Ready Share printer. I'm just going to do a basic because I don't need a network print. Yeah, you'll see here it automatically detected my USB 8 gig flash drive. It's currently set the name is media USB underscore storage with no passwords for read or write, which means when set up, it's completely vulnerable for anybody who has my public IP address, but I'll show you how to fix that. Click edit. Uh, you can set the device name. This is very important. It took me hours to figure this damn thing out and it was all because I had capitals easiest we just set it all the lowercase yeah you can leave the work group is fine um, I'm going to make mine available for uh, local network local HTTP HTTPS via internet FTP and FTP via internet these will be default ports you can change the via internet options for HTTPS or HTTP I'm gonna hit apply Yes, I know my public IP is available, but this is just a tutorial, so there's nothing on here. So I'm sure people will try to hack into it and get into files, which don't exist. Next, you're going to want to set the password and change this USB name to something a lot simpler in all lowercase. So I'm going to check the box and hit edit. I'm using Google Chrome and it has a pop-up blocker so you have to enable this to allow pop-ups from this current IP address here you can see that it's set to you its file system and I'm going to change this to just storage all lowercase and I'm going to set read access to admin and the password to admin the password for this is the username and password for your router so it just uses the admin we'll hit apply we'll just hit OK because we're not using DLNA wait for it to update click refresh you see it is now media storage all lowercase and password so this should be set up and ready to go I'll show you just open up a file explorer I'm going to add a network location it's going to be FTP I've already set it up once so I'll show you it's going to be FTP forward slash forward slash media forward slash shares forward slash storage click next uncheck log on anonymously type in the username default pass admin you can name it here um, FTP test click next I'm gonna hit finish you should be able to open this up and voila I already had the password in there because I've set this up prior but this is a file that I have on there and it's just a text document nothing in it um, so yeah, you can create new files, you can create new folders, and basically it's just a FTP setup. 
Um, if you were at a different remote location, you can use your IP address. And um, basically what you'll do, I'll just go to properties. So <clears throat> this is the target. Just basically replace the admin and media or media with your public IP and you can access this anywhere. I don't think it'll allow me to do it. I might not be able to backtrack on myself here. We'll try it. Shares. Storage. I think that's my problem. 2914. It might not let me go in that way. Let me click the link here. Alright, so it shows up here. It might be because I have the IP address in, and it's just using media.router login.net. So it's basically utilizing this URL instead of my IP address because router.login.net is your router. So that's pretty much it. It's uh, pretty easy to set up. I just, before I hooked the hard drive to it, I just reformatted it as uh, NTFS with no directories, no nothing, and you can create whatever you want on it. All right, guys, that's all I have. If you got any questions, make sure you hit me up with a comment below. Hit the subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications from YouTube for the next time we post videos, as there will be more. As always, see you soon.